Hey everyone, Sir Terry here again, and we're gonna continue our showcase of Reiju. You saw yesterday just how much fun we had against Sakasuki and Nell. Today we have three games against a yellow, green Yamato player, and then we also have one game against uh, Arlong, right? So Arlong at the end, so today you get to see four games, and I think in this matchup specifically, against both of these decks, because they both play very similar, Yamato and, and Arlong, it's all about like, how much can you afford to give up in your health? And how much do you need to play around the Holy Jones uh, or the Amaru or anything else that can rest your blockers, right? So yeah, let's see how that goes today. Hope you enjoy the games coming soon. If you do, make sure to like the video and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. And if this is your first time in the channel and you're interested in how to play Raid You, just to this video, I kind of had like a five minute deck breakdown. So you can go back to that one and kind of reference that on, on how I played this deck. So yeah, hope you enjoy the games and I'll see you later. In this match, we're going against Yamato. And this match can be super scary. I don't have the stage. There it is. This this German Kingdom is so good for this deck, right? So I feel like you always want a mulligan for this. Because you don't care about discarding cards from your hand. Because you can play these cards from your trash, right? So like you're always gonna go German Kingdom, trash your Jonji, you know, do do the shenanigans. So that's that's so good. It's so so good. Yeah, so we'll go like this. We'll trash this. Okay, we don't have we don't get what we're looking for, but I guess we we'll just get this Jonji here. How crazy is it to go for Kaya? No, I think I need my 2k counters, right? Because we're playing against freaking Yamato. So I need my 2k counters so I can counter out of this 8k attack that's coming up right now. And then we'll be able to play that Jonji. Oh, it's going to only be a 7k. So since it's a 7k, how do we do this? They choose to just go for a one. Wait, I'm so confused. So they just decided to swap their stuff and they didn't even. Why not even attack? Why not get the 1k counter out of my... What just happened? <laughs> no, we keep getting the wrong stuff, man. We keep getting the wrong stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll go here. Trash the dawn. That gives me the draw, and of course I get another another one. Uh we're just gonna always kill Monosuke, right? We're not gonna attack into their life. So at this point, I don't mind playing this Reiju out. I don't think opponent has a way to kill her, and it's gonna save me two dawn later on, right? It's going to save me two dawn that I don't have to play anymore later on to actually get the radio effect to go off. And we, we, we really want that big radio, right? Oh, okay, they just... This is such a weird way that they're playing this, right? We can block here because it's a Sitsuke because I have less dawn than the opponent. That's the that's the, that's the big mommy, right? Yeah, like this this radio is what we're looking for. So uh, let's trash the Jonji again. Actually, I guess we trash the... Yeah, we don't trash the Jonji, we trash the Radio, right? Because we can play the Radio from our hand. I guess we'll grab a second one. When we play Radio, we'll be a six. We need to play one more car. We need to play one more car and not opposed to playing another blocker, to be honest. Like maybe we go like this. So we go here, we activate this, we turn the Dawn, play the Radio. We get everything here. This is already a 7. This is a 5k. So if we... Oh, wait. But this is a 6, right? So I guess we'll go 6. And then 6. Opponent has... Oh, you know what? I should have a... That That's all you put in you? That, that's really what you were trying to put? I think I just grant them the life here. Yeah, I think I just grant them the life. I know they have triggers and stuff, but I don't really care. We still need to find this this uh, small Niji, right? Uh, the small Ichiji, sorry. You get the Okiku. We still have blockers. You attack for nine. Mm, should I just give them the blocker right now? Sure. Ah, this is our Ichiji, right? So our Ichiji is in our hand. I don't know that I'm actually going to play him right now. 
I don't know that I actually play him right now. Also, we could go for a judge next turn. If I go for judge next turn, it means that I cannot play anything else this turn, right? Which I guess is fine. I guess I could also go... Hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting. Let's go here first. We even get the Ichiji now. Oh, the Niji now. Sorry. I could play this judge, right? I could play this judge next turn. I'm also not opposed to just... Yeah, honestly, let's, let's go for it this way. Let's go sits. Sits. Play the second radio, even if I'm not getting the draw out of her. And then we'll just go for judge. And honestly, I'm just going to drop down judge. And then uh, what I'm going to need to do is that I'm going to need to counter out with the kids this turn. So that I could have them all in the discard. And then we go from there. Opponent gave me two cards here. Yamato. And the one who should disappear. So the reason I like attacking here as well is because if the opponent has like... I could also just go up on one down here, right? But I think I'd rather have the double finger in my hand. Yeah, we'll go like this. Uh, we'll keep the blocker because I'm going to block one of the attacks with Jonji. I guess Yamato can kill it. Oh, it's just Sora. Okay, so... Uh, that's an easy block. It's kind of annoying because I have too many cards in my hand. Uh, too many cards in my board, right? So too many cards in my board mean that we actually don't get the full value from the judge. The opponent's going to go after my life instead. Um, I guess I'll give you the 2k. So do we even go for... Do we even go for the judge? Because we could play Ichiji here. We could play Ichiji here. And also play this Niji. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I'm not opposed to getting this. Like, I feel like I have to go after their life. Even if the opponent has all these triggers. It's weird, but I feel like I have to go after their life. Maybe we start here first. Let's see what we get. We already have the Ichiji down here, right? Oh, no, we don't. So, actually, <laughs> good thing I didn't try to go for this. So, the problem here, we can return the Okiku to their hand, right? And that gets rid of one. I, I guess we can wait to see if the opponent gets a trigger before we do that. So, let's go like this. And I like going here. Let's go here as well. I guess we'll have the uh, we'll have to grab the Riju. So this lets me attack into their life, right? So now we can go five, 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 and the Mamonosuke doesn't have a good blocker. If the opponent gets a trigger, we just play. If the opponent gets a blocker trigger, we just play Ichiji, uh, Niji, sorry, right? So we go here. The opponent's gonna just leave their blocker there, which I think makes sense. I don't want to give them the Hiyori, by the way. It's going to let them just put a life on the top of whatever they want to do. All right, so then we just go here then. And uh, we're going to return this to the hand. That way the opponent has one less attacker. So we have still have the blocker, right? We still have the blocker. Opponent can have like a Hori Jones. Hori Jones is perfect because they'll be able to then be able to still use the Sora ability. But as long as we block with the Yamato, we should be okay. We have three 2Ks and two 1Ks and a blocker. But we know that the opponent has no trigger in their life. I guess if they get another Hiyori right now, they could go ahead and do that. They do still have this Momonosuke blocker, which is kind of annoying. And we could still technically play Judge next turn if we wanted to get another Ichiji to attack with, right? Like if the opponent kills this Ichiji, we could get there, but I don't think I want to do that because I want to be able to have all this done, right? To be able to actually set my attack correctly. Kind of like a weird game here. 
Um, there's the Hori, right? Yep. They take the last life, so that means they can actually play the Hiori, but if they play the Hiori, they cannot play this double Sora attack. Or the triple Sora attack, right? Wait, actually the Hiori doesn't work either, right? Because the Hiori uh you need to have a you need to have a card from your life, right? You need to take a card from your life for the Hiori. So we know that the opponent's gonna go 9k. Actually, they're gonna go um they can go all the way to eleven here. Or they can go to eight here, right? I think we take this. We can take all three Soro hits and we can easily counter out of the Yamato and the Momonosuke. As long as this double attack doesn't hit me, we should be okay. And the opponent can only attack for five here because if they use the Dawn, they would not be able to attack with the Soro. I guess they can clear my whole board. But they keep going for my life, and here we go. We get the second HG. Um, yeah, they keep going after my life instead. I want them to do it one more time. So this lets me get rid of a blocker. Yeah, I mean, I'm just taking this. What? What? You're gonna have to rest your blocker, which is just gonna make you die. Sure. Now what? I have 10 cards. There's no way you think that this is going to get through, right? <laughs> like, I literally have 10 cards. There's no way that you think that damage is going to get through. Yeah. So, uh, opponent has 7 cards here. I guess we'll just put everything on the Ichiji and just attack. Even if the opponent can survive this 15k, we still have a bunch of attackers, right? So... Yeah, I mean, I guess the opponent's hand wasn't too great, so they didn't have a choice. We saw Yamato in there, we saw Soul Poker, so let's see how this rematch goes over here. Yeah, I mean, the Soul Pokers would have been an annoying trigger. The opponent started really weird, right? Oh, I like having these two cards in my hand, but I don't, like, I, don't, I have the wrong stuff, right? I need the stage. There we go. So stage, I like it how we have one of each of the kids. So we have two small ones, two big ones. We get the stage here. So we get to trash this. And uh, yeah, we get the Ichiji. Sorry, Papa. We have we have the done to do this, right? We have the done to do this, so we might as well just do this. Another one. Uh, I think I go for the German 60 sets. I think we want to get the draw. I don't think we need the small kids just yet. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to take this, right? Yeah, we're going to have to take this, unfortunately. Because we didn't have any 2k counters. Um, this is awkward now because we're not going to be able to actually... We do have the blocker guy, right? So one, two, that's still not enough. We can go here. We're not going to get the draw, right? We're not going to get the draw, but we can at least have the blocker. Yeah, we're not going to get the draws from... Um... And maybe we didn't need to do that. Maybe we could just wait it. Yeah, maybe we should have just waited for this radio, right? Until we had less cards in our hand. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to rush that. Yeah, I didn't need to rush that. But I do like having all these units here. I definitely needed the Jonji there to be able to block the opponent's next double attack. Uh, we're in a situation where the opponent can rest this blocker anytime they want. They still have three live. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes a whole, it makes such a big difference when you can get that that hit in, right? When you can get that hit in like that, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, I'll give you the blocker right now. I'll give you the blocker right now. Um, uh, I don't think we ever get to play this judge this game, right? I guess we'll grab the Niji. Everything else is like whatever. We can attack for five, attack for five, develop this guy, attack for seven. Sure, let's go here first. 
Yeah, attack for seven. We still go to five done next turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at this point, we just have to... Uh, we just have to just slam it down and hope that we can aggro them down. We have to just hope that we can aggro them down eventually, unfortunately. We're going to go down to zero life here. We could play pudding. The op okay, opponent actually gives me the counters here. Uh, uh, it's not looking great. One, two, three, four, five, six K counter. Opponent can go exactly to 12. Well, I guess I can go to 11. Hmm. They go on, they get a Momonosuke here. So they have the blocker. They can actually rest, get, get this life as well. But if they do that, I'm okay with that, right? Because now I can I can just I can just block with a 1k. Oh, and you can actually do it. I forgot about that. You can actually do it because it has to be something that's not a Momonosuke. Yeah, so we'll give you the 1k. Um Do we have another Ishiji here? We wanna play Queen. I think we wanna play Queen. I think we're always playing queen here, right? So... We're always playing queen here. I wonder if the opponent tries to save this. Okay, they don't. Let's go five. You should block this. Maybe they choose not to block it because I can just kill it with the Ichiji later. Yeah, so I like the queen because it gives me two draws. We'll go seven. Opponent's hoping for a trigger. Oh, they gave me the ESO, right? Double ESO. We'll go here, use the car action. We'll return the down, which lets me draw. And uh, we can trash one of these guys, right? And this another 2K counter and a blocker. Yamato cannot kill this because we are four life in total. But Yamato can kill the radio, I guess. Hody Jones gets to rest my blocker, but you're only attacking for seven here. Which I can counter out of. Wow, all of a sudden I feel like this momentum flipped, right? Like I felt like I was in a really bad spot. And now I don't feel so bad. There's no way they can attack with Monosuke, because if they attack with Monosuke, they just lose. Yeah, I think I think we actually get there. Ha. Huh. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? That's another one. So we can play this Ichiji here and get this one. Get this get this down to 4 maybe. Do we go for it? Opponent has four cards, has a blocker. We could go for it. We could actually just go for it. We go seven, seven, nine. Oh, do I need to go for it? Because if the opponent has another Hori Jones, they could actually just kill us. Not only that, okay, the opponent, yeah, opponent, they have the second Holy Jones. So, what? Opponent disconnected because they're not patient enough to just let me play it out, right? They have no counters, right? So, if we do go for it, we just win the game. The question is, do I go for it, right? If we play it out on a second Holy Jones, which the opponent ends up actually having, then this blocker is not going to matter, right? If we just go like, like there's no way for me to survive next turn, I guess. That's what I need to find out. Is there a way for me to survive next turn? Even if I get a second blocker, even if I get a second blocker, we're gonna ignore that we know the two kick counters here. Even if I get a second blocker, he can rest both blockers, right? So if we can rest the blockers next turn, he gets to attack. He, he still has three done, right? So he gets to attack for 10. They can attack for eight here if they wanted to, because that's forcing me. Wait, I think we're okay, right? 
No, no, no. Even if even even if the opponent did have um even if the opponent did have a second Holy Jones, we still okay. Because they rest the blocker. They can only go for A here, and we can counter out of the eight with four cards. Then they attack for A, attack for A. Uh, attack for eight here. Attack for eight here. I guess it. I guess it depends whether they can keep that Momonosuke alive, right? So if they can keep this Momo alive, then they could actually get there. The Okiku doesn't matter because if we attack in such a way, if the opponent took that Okiku and play her, we could always go Niji and send the Okiku back to their hand, right? So the Okiku is irrelevant. Uh, of course, again, we get the two 2k counters, so we we were going to survive anyways, because this will only go up, well, this will only go up to A because of the Yamato ability. So the two 2k counters will be just enough to get rid of the 9k. So we were always winning this. Um, but I think the right play is to just try to survive to next turn. I guess that's only place around Hori Jones. What if instead the opponent has an Amaru? If they have an Amaru, they can not rest the queen because the queen is actually five costs and maru only rest four costs or lower so this protects us against amaru so i'm not losing to the amaru i'm not losing to the holy jones what could i lose to if i if i decide not to go all in this turn i don't know i don't think there's anything that i lose to but yeah i mean here we go Ryu versus yamato ggs in this match we're gonna against yamato all right so that does kind of let me counter out a lot Ooh, we don't have we don't have the issue combo here, but we don't have the stage or my search car, right? So here we go. Now we get the stage. Now we also get the search car. Mm, we don't have the uh, forecast region though to to actually draw. So what are we looking for? Oh, well, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess right. We can just do this right now, right? I mean. We have we're gonna have exactly five. This lets me draw twice. I guess we'll be off on dawn. Do I wanna actually even do this now? I mean we could do it. Oh no, that's gonna put me to six cards, right? No, because then when I play this. When I play this, uh we'll play it from here. Yeah, well, here we go. We get to draw everything and we pass. It's a little bit unfortunate. I guess I could just play the stage and just save it for later on because you usually want to trash them from your hand, right? Oh, wow. We actually don't have enough to counter this. Yeah, you want to trash them from your hand, not from your... Uh, uh, sorry, you want to you summon them from your uh, discard, not from your hand, right? So, yeah, we just uh, we just put ourselves in a situation where I think we're just going to lose, by the way. So... Um, I guess let's go like this. Let's go here. Uh, we don't get them. Let's get the 2k counter for now. Um, we could play this Jonji for now and just be okay. I guess we'll go 5-5. Five, five, play Jonji and if we get another Jonji, we'll get a blocker. Yeah, at this point we have to kind of go back, keep some cards in our hands so that we can counter out of the opponent. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play this Jonji here. Save him for later. We can go to German Kingdom again and also have the German 66, and that will give me the blocker. What's well, a little bit unfortunate that we got like the HG and the Judge, right? When we drew those three cards, because if I had like another 2k or even another 1k, I would have definitely counter out of that. Because going to two obviously can be pretty risky. We can still put a lot of aggression though, right? So maybe that's okay. Yeah, like opponent's gonna go here with the Onami and we're just gonna go 2k, 2k. 2k, 2k. So this 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 is the Jonji, right? So we can get a blocker here. So let's go here first. And I guess I'll grab the Niji. Yeah, so we can go two blockers, right? We can go queen, and we can also go the uh, the Jonji and, and be in a decent spot. So we can go five, five. Yeah, and then we go queen here. I guess opponent's going to get a unit here, most likely, right? It could be a Neko or it could be a Okiku. 
Oh, it's going to be a Sanji. All right. So then we go here. Use the car action. Trash. Ooh. Let's return that down first. We'll trash one judge, right? And then we'll go here. Return the down. Play this. So that way we have two blockers. Two, both of them have Sitsuke, uh, Sitsuke power. And as I say that, the opponent goes ahead and plays the Holy Jones. This can only kill one of the blockers, right? So um, they can kill one of the blockers. They also took a life there. So they actually could just die next turn because we do have four attacks. We don't have a lot of Dawn. That's the only downside. And they do have a blocker. Like, obviously, I'm going to just counter this, which we will with one of these Rejuice. If we if you hit me with 8k on my leader, I'm okay with that. Oh, they do have this. Yeah, I, 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 I do always forget that they can do that, huh? If they rest the blocker, they just kind of get punished. So they cannot really rest the blocker. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. All right, so. How do we do this? So when it has five cards, we have four attacks but again they still have this blocker so that makes it a little bit more complicated we could go for this Riju and I guess that, that's fine I, mean, I don't think we actually go for lethal this turn right I think we just go here first but it's gonna give me the Onami yeah we can we can get this Riju from our discard let's go here so this is going to be two down. Uh, this is going to be two. So this still leaves me with some down here. So we can go like this. Um, I guess we'll just get a 1k. We'll go here. Get another. Okay, that's a 2k. Then we can go here. That can attack for six. Okay, so I can have one of these attack for six. Force the opponent to give me a 2k counter. They're going to actually decide to take that life because I guess they're trying to look for a Neko or a Kiku here, which I think is fair for them to do that. Or they can just have this. Ugh. So they trash an Okiku to be able to do that. All right. That's fair. This gets me a lot of draw, though, and we still have these two blockers. Right? Our opponent will have to have a second Hori Jones. And even if they do, they can only go up to seven here. We like this is the fun part where you have all these cards. Like we keep we keep, we have like this huge hand size that the opponent cannot deal with. Okay, Widget is nice. Still need to deal with the second blocker. And we can get another blocker next turn with the John G, right? I can also go the Niji to get rid of their blocker. Hmm. I could get rid of the. I could get rid of it to get rid of their blocker. The opponent's in a situation where they they decide to go after the Raju. I guess at this point, opponent's like, I know, I know, I'm not gonna die. Like the opponent knows they're not gonna die, so they know that they can just go here. Sure. Like, the opponent knows that if they kill my board, they won't actually die, right? So they, they're just using all their cards, which is good for us. They go after Raju again. We're so, we're so close, but so far from this. We could go Junji and Ishiji. Yeah, we could go Jonji and Ishiji and be okay. So the Ichiji will give it a minus two here. So this will go down to six. And then we can attack it for seven. Probably better to just go after their life, to be honest, instead of the Hori Jones. The Hori Jones is kind of scary, but I don't know how scary it actually is. And I know that kind of makes no sense what I just said, but still. I guess let's go for five first, see what the opponent does here. If they take that life, I might always I might actually rest this and just attack with the Jonji here. 
Okay, they had a second blocker. Okay, so because they have a second blocker, that makes it a little bit different. Obviously, we're not going to attack into these Hori Jorns, right? Uh, so we can just go... I, do, I don't like the fact that the opponent has four attacks. But we do have two blockers. If they have a second Hori Jones, they'll have three down left. I said that they can also put two more. As long as I don't take that double attack, I should be safe, right? I am giving up. Yeah, if they have a second Hori Jones, this is where things get risky. I could bounce. I could bounce here, but then that only leaves me one attack. I would have needed to have another bounce. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go like this. It gives me a car as well. Right? Uh, yeah, so we'll go here. It doesn't really matter. We'll go for seven. Let's force one of the blockers out. Okay. So this forces one of the blockers out. So that's one less attack. Then we go like this. We'll uh, send one down back. And I have to play it from my hand, right? I should have actually trashed this one earlier and kept the. Uh, it doesn't matter, I guess. So. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if the opponent has Holy Jones, they can always rest both blockers. If it's not a Hori Jones and instead it's something like this, I don't want them to just rest one of them. If it's double Hori Jones, if it's Hori Jones, they can go again. They can go eight here. And as soon as I can counter that eight, which I definitely can, I still have two life. And then they're only attacking twice, well, three more times. Okay, so there you go. It was Amaru, not Hori Jones. Second Amaru, okay, that, that kind of changes things now because since it was double Amaru, we're going to take that double attack. Yeah, wow. All right. I mean, I did not play around double Amaru. I was playing around Holy Jones, which I think is fine. We can go to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So not 13. We have double 2K here. That kind of changes things, right? Opponent hasn't used the Yamato effect, right? So they're just going to go for like a big 14. And then they just finish up with Sanji. We're 1k off just because the opponent had the double Amaru. They also have one Tatsuka, right? So I think it was correct for us to play around Hori, uh, like to, to just ignore the Hori Jones and keep both blockers. The funny thing is that if I attack with one blocker, they would have had to give me the Sanji, by the way, because they didn't have any other counter in their hand. But I don't think I can, I don't think I can ever afford to do that. I don't know. I, I, I think the line that we took was correct because if the opponent had a second Hori Jones, they only would have been able to go to eight here, and we could definitely counter out of the eight. And then we can take this hit, we can take the other Hori Jones hit, and we could just counter out of the Sanji, right? But the fact that it was double Amaru, not only did it rest both blockers, but it gave them to 6k. So we were not able to counter out of the Yamato, and we had to take that double attack. If we could have defended that double attack, we would have been completely fine. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Arlo. Honestly... I respect people playing Arlong. I think we keep this hand, right? I mean, I know I don't have the kids, but we do have this Germa here, right? So we can always go like this. Uh, let's trash Ryu first, because the one that we want to look for is going to be the other Ryu. Important, we don't get it. I'm going to grab the Ishiji. I'm going to tell you why. The Ishiji is probably the strongest card, one of the strongest cards in this deck, and I want to make sure that I have it in my discard pile. So, yeah, the opponent's going to get to play Okiku. Ooh, wait, that's a very big power now for the opponent, huh? Wait, that's so good. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, this card is also crazy, right? I, I played it. Um, I played it with... Um, oh, man, we don't have we don't have the little Ryu just yet. I guess we might as well grab the Ichiji. And we can always just play this Ichiji and just attack into the opponent. Sure, right? That will give me another draw. Yeah, this card is crazy. I think this card is actually kind of crazy. Uh, opponent gets another trigger. That's a little bit unfortunate. Let's send this back. Go here. Choose no target. Attack for seven. If the opponent gets another trigger, then they just go get. They just good gamers. Okay, they're not good gamers. <laughs> All right, so we have read you here. If they attack here, I'm okay with that. They're probably gonna just attack into my life, right? Oh, I cannot attack. That's, yeah, they're probably just going to attack into my life. So we're going to give you 
uh, this 1k here, right? Because we want this to be in the discard. This is another 7k and another 5k. The 5k we can counter out. The 7k we probably take. And then we just got to swim back, I guess, right? Uh, hmm. We could play queen and get ourselves this blocker. Because I'm probably not going to attack into their life anymore, right? Ah, that's our Ryuji, right? So we can trash this. I don't have... I kind of don't want to use this, right? Because I don't have anything that I want to discard here. So we have all four... We have, well, three of the four, with the fourth one being here. I could discard one more Ryuji here and keep my 2Ks. Or I could discard this German Sister Sits. I guess let's go like this. Let's go like this. We can go for the judge, but we don't have the kids in the discard just yet. So I think I grabbed the 1k. I think I grabbed the 1k. And um, if I attack here, it's too easy for them to have their thing. What if we don't attack that? What if we just attack into their life? And just put the opponent in an awkward situation. You know what? Let's attack here. I'm going to attack here. Yeah, this is going to force two cards. Right, so they could have saved they could have saved the Okiku if we're attacking to Okiku. The reason I like attacking into the life is because we could always play, like even if the opponent kills this Ichiji, we could always play. Um yeah, so we go here. The opponent has ways to rest this, right? They can play Holy Jones. There's a bunch of like new green events and yellow events that can rest stuff. They get another Arlong. Okay, so um if I counter this, if I block here, so the opponent can go seven. I think we take the first one. Because I think no matter what, we're going to take one, right? No matter what, we're going to take one. Uh, we counter here, and then if the opponent attacks for eight, then we'll have to counter as well. All right, and we get the blocker back. The Ichigi didn't die, so that kind of makes it a little bit more awkward. We can get the draw with this Riju here. It's the same situation. Like, the opponent has four attacks. I can't survive four attacks. But I also don't want to attack into their life. What to do? What to do? We do have the big boy here, right? The Niji. So we could go Niji and bounce like Okiku back to their hand, I guess. And that's one less attacker. Sure. And then we can attack for six and maybe eight. Just the Okiku is a non counter card, so it doesn't really matter as much. The opponent can replay a next turn with no problem. Let's go here first, though. And uh, yeah, we get the Sora. So that's a 2k as well. All right. So we can go six seven or do we go eight and then five here i think i like it like this i think i like going eight and forcing the opponent to give me two cards it's tough they are gonna give me the two cards okay so they're gonna give me the two cards so does he actually even make sense then to play this this hg I guess, again, the Ichigi bounces back the Okiku, so it, it, it's the same thing as me attacking. I can get two units out of their field by going like this. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna send this one back to their hand. We still have a blocker. We have a... Two two k well two two k's and three one k's. We have one life. Opponent has Okiku in their hand, which they again they can play for free with the Arlon. The problem is Holy Jones, right? If they can rest this blocker, like I don't think there's anything that we can do, right? So I think we'll go for the two k and a one k here. Seven. For, for the opponent to play Hori here, there's no other Russia that they have. I'm gonna risk it. 
If they play Hori, they can only go for five here, which means I can counter out. If I can keep this queen alive, it gives me an additional attacker for next turn. And I think that makes all the difference. Oh. All right, so because we don't have any more Ichijis on the discard, right? I don't think it makes sense for us to keep this. I think we try to keep the queen. I think we try to keep the queen and just try to go for Leto here. Pony has two cards. They have given me quite a few 2k counters. They also give me... Oh, of course, right? Of course we get the Ichiji after we discard the other things, huh? Um... We don't have the... Oh, we do have the Jonji. We do have the Jonji. We can go for Riju and just draw. Or I think we're just going for lethal, right? We have five attacks. Yeah, we have five attacks, right? And an and opponent just gave up as well, right? So, I did forget about Reject, by the way. But the Reject still will have been four down that the opponent will have needed to spend. So, actually, what they could have done is like they could have done Reject and then attack my life. They actually would have just won. Wait a second. They had the Reject in their hand and they didn't use it? Why? I block with the queen. So then you could just hit my life, right? Because I only have one life left. Instead of playing this, you could have played this. And you still had... You attack for eight. And I only had two 1k counters. Oh, but I get the 2k in my hand. I get the 2k to my hand. It doesn't go to the trash, right? So, so I end up having nine, which will be just enough... But I think you will have risked that, right? I think you will have always, always risked that and just taken the chance. So, GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Raju and just the Pin Smokes family in general. Uh, I think, just like yesterday, this video continues to showcase the power of this issue, the power of the judge, right? And the power of getting the Jerma Kingdom early in your hand. If you have Jerma Kingdom early in your hand, your games are going to go so much better than when you don't have it in your hand. So, very fun deck. I'm still having a blast with this. Uh, the, the first three Yamato games, you know, it's the second game. We, we were asking that question before the opponent disconnected whether it was safe to go all in or do we need to kind of hold back and just play slow. Uh, I do think at the end, playing it slow would have been better. Uh, and then that third Yamato game, we kind of got to got punished by the Amaru, right? So the good thing is that the second game, we had Queen, which Queen cannot be rested with, by Amaru. So it kind of ended up making a big difference there compared to just having our Junji blocker here. Uh, so that's, that is one reason why instead of playing four Junjis, we are playing two Queens. Not only because it can give us two draws when, when we play it with Reju, but it can also be a way to play around those Amarus and those pesky ways that the opponent can rest our blockers so yeah hope you enjoyed those games again and if you did make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us we post one piece videos every single day i'll see you all again tomorrow